They say the quality of a person can be measured by the quality of their work. Republic artist Doug Cox and his work is some of the best quality you'll find. An employee of the Paul Mueller Company, Doug's medium of art is something he cultivates day in and day out. They allow us to take some scrap and some of uh, my coworkers will find things too that they think are, are interesting and try to make something out of them. His first big break came at the turn of the century when his inspiration manifested and people took notice. Creating a piece titled Abstract Woman with Factory Air, his art became a hit and was included in Springfield's Sculpture Walk in 1999. I enjoyed making that. That was my first, all my design. I, I started making some, uh, found some wooden kids puzzles and, and uh, ended up enlarging the pieces first and made a, a praying mantis, a spider, and a few other things. Since then, Doug's work has been featured numerous times in Sculpture Walk Springfield, along with various locations around the city. Soft-spoken and with a focus on the intricate details, Doug spends long hours, sometimes up to 600 hours, creating just one piece. Many of his designs start on paper, sketched out, and measured to the exact size he's looking to build. From the two-dimensional, Doug deliberately manipulates one of the strongest materials on Earth and turns them into three-dimensional creations. He welds and bends it like it's rubber. Dangerous work that turns into masterpieces. And when it's time to display his finished art, Doug likes it to look and feel just right. Usually I'll install my, my own sculptures or uh, sometimes I'll, I'll definitely have help on some of the heavier ones. And, uh, I, and it, it just really feels good. And I like going back to see them and uh, what, see, hear comments and it's, it's nice. Doug's designs reintroduce you to a childlike wonder and makes you see the world differently. Though strung together by spare parts, Doug sees them as characters, figures, using his imagination to breathe life into each one of his pieces. And it's a way of life for Doug. When the hours get long as he battles the elements out in his metal shop, he remembers the reason he puts the helmet on in the first place. I was 35 and uh, I had two friends pass away from uh, leukemia that year. And and I, I got to thinking, you know, uh, and I had thought about sculptures for quite a while. And, and I finally, uh, you know, it's, I'd like to leave something behind whenever I leave. And uh, hopefully people will like what I leave behind.